Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. This is our first introduction session in model deployment playlist where we will discuss about what are the options we have to deploy machine learning models and what are the difference between these. Okay. So basically we have three options available to deploy machine learning models that are on-premises, IAS that is infrastructure as a service and the final one is a PaaS that is a platform as a service. Okay. So now let us understand what are these in details. So here is a diagram which shows the difference between these three uh, options that is on-premises versus IAS versus PaaS. Okay. The first one is on-premises where servers and storage to run the machine learning project software will be available on or installed within the same building as your business. I mean the software and hardwares are installed and run within the premises of the company and the staff has a physical access to stored data. Okay, the staff of the company can also manage the security in the computing of the infrastructure and the stored data. I mean, uh, in on-premises uh, deployment, uh, we have to uh, you know install all the physical servers, sorry, infrastructures uh, such as you know the servers, storage networks, all these you know physical resources has to be uh, purchased and installed in and uh, within our on-premises. Then install the OS and all the required resources to you know run our application and data. Okay, so everything will be managed or maintained by our own you know the IT staff in the on-premises. Basically, this option is uh, is planned by you know when there is a security concerns. Okay, so for example, you know the banking applications. For the, those applications, basically bank maintains their own infrastructures to run their applications. Okay, now the second one is you know the IAS that is an infrastructure as a service refers to as a one of the cloud computing model or a solution okay so where the service provider enables users to access the computing resources easily this is done through server networking and storage okay where the users use their own software development services and the application in the infrastructure of service provider it operates through the traditional cloud infrastructure where the service provider hosts multiple infrastructures including the hardware storage network networking etc I mean, the service provider will, you know, provide you the server, storage, networkings, all these infrastructure. Basically, they maintain. Okay. Once we subscribe this service, then after on top of this infra, okay, we have to, uh, you know, start installing OS, all these required, uh, you know, resources to run our application and data. Okay. So in infrastructure as services, the responsibility of these infrastructures will be taken care by the uh, service provider, and whereas, you know, uh, these uh, resources will be managed or maintained by us. The key feature of uh, IAS are as follows like you know the users only have to pay for on-demand IAS rather than the purchasing the hardware systems. The infrastructure requirements are scalable depending upon the you know processing and the storage requirement of the enterprise. It also saves the additional cost of purchasing or maintaining the hardware. Right? So examples of IAS option are like you know the AWS EC2 instance, cloud computing uh, engine, okay. I mean the Google cloud computing engine and the digital ocean. Uh, these are the you know the some of the uh, the examples of you know uh, which provides the infrastructure as a service now the third one is you know platform as a service it is also another type of cloud computing model that enables the users to develop organize and you know or deliver the application in the cloud environment it is a category of a cloud service that helps software development service providers okay providers to easily manage and develop their applications without having any complex association with the application infrastructure in this model, uh, basically, uh, it requires hardware and software tools available over the internet, and these will be maintained by the service provider. I mean, start from the server, storage, network, all these hardwares, along with you know the OS, all these you know the middleware at the runtime. These all resources will be maintained by the you know the service provider. We only need to you know uh, deploy our code, our application uh, to their uh, you know the platform as a service. I mean, on their platform to run our application. Okay. So the key features of PaaS, uh, such as you know, the PaaS offers a platform having a, having the best tools to develop or host the application in a similar environment. It also offers a managerial, you know, the security, server software, operating systems, and the backup options. Okay, and the examples of you know the PaaS that uh, like you know the Heroku cloud platform, uh, AWS Elastic Beanstack. These are you know the, some of the you know the examples of you know the, which provides a PaaS service. Okay. So that's all guys for today's session. I hope you understood the difference between on-premises versus IS versus PaaS. In the next uh, future sessions, we will see how to deploy machine learning models in these two, you know, the cloud options model, okay, that is, you know, the IS and, you know, the uh, PaaS. Okay, so that's all guys. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.